I think digital has really come of age in the past, I would say, two years, not so much in the five years, and I've seen a massive change. There was one point in time where, you know, uh, digital was a small part of the entire advertising budget, and therefore the face time that we got with the senior management also was very little. I think what has happened is there's been a huge shift and as we approach 2020, at least one third of the budgets, the advertising budgets are going towards digital. So marketers are uh, trying to play catch up. They want to understand how to leverage best uh, what can be done uh, on digital marketing. And all of us know the possibilities are immense. So that's really what we're seeing. That's the change that we're really seeing, that marketers are really interested in exploring and innovating how they can use digital media to drive business performances. So I think uh, digital marketing and technology go hand in hand because I think there's so much disruption happening on the technology front as well and therefore it opens up new avenues of marketing on those uh, uh, you know, platforms for marketers. Um, so in my view they're extremely integrated. Uh, the way we are leveraging technology in some of uh, the areas are actually there are two broad areas. One is how we use it for our clients and partners and the second thing is how we're using technology to kind of build an efficiency at our own system. For our clients, we are using a lot of semi-automated to completely automated uh, tools which are built proprietary in India uh, by the iProspect team to see how we can drive more efficiencies. Now these tools, are, some of them are in the planning and optimization uh, space while there are others also in the creative suite uh, where we are seeing how we can do personalized creatives at scale along with completing the journey with personalized landing pages for users and we've seen some fantastic results wherever we've deployed these uh, technologies. Um, you know, we've seen uh, the CTRs improve and as a result of that uh, the sales improve for clients. Of course media efficiency is always something that we did right from the beginning but now we're seeing how do we control the post-click behavior as well so we're trying to work on that. Um, on an, um, uh, from a business front at iProspect, again, we are driving a lot of automation to automate our business processes because then our people, instead of doing mundane jobs, um, which are uh, like reporting, etc., they're instead uh, of that using their time more productively to think and strategize for the clients. So uh, definitely I see there's a lot of opportunity to leverage uh, technology. I think from a new trends point of view, um, voice of course I know everybody knows, it's been speaking, uh, spoken a lot, um, some work happening in that area, but the one I think which is uh, suddenly right now, uh, uh, the one I think, the one space which I think where people are not talking about too much and which will suddenly come up is uh, the image search. Uh, it can be used in uh, many interesting ways. I think it is under leverage right now, but there is huge opportunity and uh, talking to our partners, Google and Facebook, I know they're working on products on that area where it's going to go grow very, very quickly in the coming years. Yeah, I know everybody likes to do uh, use buzzwords, uh, but I don't think we focus so much on that. We're thinking of it by putting the consumer in the center of it. And we think that the customer is today everywhere. So how do we build a seamless experience for the customer? and right through their journey which could be uh, from right from acquiring the customer from the client to engaging with them and then retaining them and building loyalty um, uh, you know that's the way we approach it and how do we build a seamless experience is what we're focusing on so uh, like i said earlier uh, you know we built in technology to make sure that we understand this audience behavior very very well so uh, to tell you a little bit more detail uh, about that uh, we've taken data from a lot of data sources which include Facebook, Bark, Comscore, some of our proprietary Dan CCS data and then understand cohorts of customers uh, who are most likely to convert for our clients. Um, once we understand uh, what are those typical profiles, we build communication uh, which is personalized to them which has a chance of uh, you know, connecting with them better rather than building one generic creative. Uh, and post that as they land on the websites of the clients or the assets of the clients, we see that how that we make sure that that experience is seamlessly continued. So that is the work we are doing. I know it's still uh, just the tip of the iceberg and much more can be done. Uh, but like they say, this is the base work. So we have to make sure that the foundation is laid well so that on, once this is done, then we build on top of it. 
it's a, working in an agency I think is a big blessing for me. I'm lucky I get surrounded by people who are young, uh, who are full of new ideas, a lot of positive energy, new thinking. Uh, helps keep me also motivated and going. Uh, I think from a culture point of view, it's extremely um, agile, has to be because we're in digital marketing. Very pioneering, of course. Um, also collaborative because uh, in our view, uh, you know, collaboration in this world is the new competitive strength really that we have. Uh, but at the same point in time, what we also inculcate from a work culture point of view is responsibility. So, uh, uh, you know, that somehow, uh, sometimes uh, is a value uh, which these days is not uh, taken very seriously, but that's also something that we uh, take a lot of pride in, in building the responsible culture.